A big sporting day on land and at sea for the Mediterranean port of Nice. The weather may have been wintry, but despite the dull skies, thousands of runners weren't deterred from setting off along the Promenade des Anglais for the city's annual marathon run to Cannes. And out at sea, yachts competing in the Louis Vuitton Trophy formed a little parade of sail for the runners and spectators before heading out to the racetrack. First up, Emirates Team New Zealand faced the new all-for-one syndicate, combining top talent from France and Germany. But it was the Kiwis who dominated the start, hitting the line at speed and picking the left-hand side of the course. After leading comfortably around the top mark, Emirates Team New Zealand extended on the run, and when All for One took the alternative option at the gate, their race suddenly came to a halt. The main halley had failed. And as the mainsail slumped down the mast, the Kiwis sailed on for their second win of the series. Race two featured Artemis, the new team from Sweden, and France's TFS Pajon, skippered by America's Cup veteran Bertrand Passé. Both boats were early for the start, killing speed. American helmsman Terry Hutchinson getting the better of TFS Pajon, who misjudged the line and are over early, losing valuable time while they circle around the committee boat before returning to the line to start cleanly. The Artemis squad, brimming with America's Cup talent, including skipper Paul Kayard, build a comfortable lead to be ahead by more than a minute at the first top mark. From there, it was always going to be difficult for the French team to climb back into the match, the gap nearly two minutes by the halfway stage. A win by two minutes and 17 seconds in their first outing together, exactly what the Swedish team was after. The Louis Vuitton trophy in Nice, a natural move forward for a group that has campaigned together in fleet racing regattas in Europe, making them a team to watch.